Hey everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage and we're back working on the 53 F250. In this episode, we're getting the bed wood completed and getting a couple other little things put in place. We're going to build a little compartment for storage, do a little bit of welding, um, and just get everything sorted out on, on the rear end. So, let's get to it. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Alright We're back out here Working on the bed wood I went ahead and Grinded down my tubing That way I had a smooth surface To mount everything to I'm just kind of test fitting everything right now. This was the bedwood that was in it already. As you can see, I cut a little hatch out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera. Here we go. So I decided to go ahead and reuse this original bedwood. I was gonna use some uh, cheap fencing, but um, you know, just I guess I this wood's not too bad. I broke some pieces off it, so I was kind of concerned with that, but. It's some good solid wood. I'm probably just going to sand it down because I want to give it a different stain look. But I've got this little hatch cut out and I already framed up down here because I'm going to create a storage unit. That way I can carry some stuff and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this little back section to cover it up probably. But uh, that's where we are. out and I'm about to put oil on this I learned this from YouTube it's a good way to stain it we'll see how it turns out because I didn't sand it down that much because it wasn't working real quick and said fuck it let's just see how it works and how it looks after uh, we oil it and you gotta let it sit for like an hour or two and then wipe it back down and then just let it sit and bake baking in the sun it's coated in oil looks a lot better than the gray it had on it so I'm pretty happy about that I mean it probably would have been a lot nicer if you know it was sanded down and back to the natural wood co color but hey we'll see how it is in about an hour you know I thought I was gonna go take a lunch break but instead while this oil is setting I'm gonna go ahead and paint the uh, whole frame up. I've got a bunch of rust oil lamps, so I'm just going to go ahead and coat um, these bed framing. So. So I've been pretty much just letting this stuff dry. 
Um, I did go ahead and weld my little patch in here for the filler hole. Didn't weld very well, to be honest. That's a little rusty, so I have some issues. I've also been letting the, the wood sit out here and dry. It's been out here for a couple couple hours now. A uh, little sneak peek maybe, I guess you would say, but uh, I sanded the hood of the Torino down. I also sanded the rear deck down and uh, I actually patched this. This didn't go nearly as well. It's got a little dip in it, so I'll have to fill that with Bondo, but it was all rusted through right here, so I patch that and i still gotta patch this little spot here but you know hey uh a solid metal and a little bit of bondo is a lot better than a big rust hole so yep yep well i'm about to call it a day i've been out here all day long and it's about time to take a break so till tomorrow so I figured my camera isn't going to catch this because it's kind of below the bed. So that's why I'm filming it right here. So my framing was already down there that I, I welded in. And I just cut up some wood. Now I got a nice little storage area. There's also a little piece of wood down here. To prevent stuff from just falling out where the uh, it meets the CV. Uh, pan. I'm not exactly sure where it was cut, but that's kind of how it goes when you take on someone else's project. I need to cap these in these outside edges as well. So I think I'm just going to build a little uh, sheet metal Z form, uh, basically to cap off this whole thing and connect into this piece. That way I can just sheet metal screw it there. That way just keep a little more water out from this storage area. But uh, coming along, about to start working on the actual bed wood here in a little bit. And uh, get a little more uh, footage. So catch you guys later. A couple little more small things. Bent up a little sheet metal and pushed it into there. So we're kind of covering these ends prevent as much water from getting in here as we can. I still am going to have to fill that hole, but same thing on this side. Kind of just preventing water being thrown out there from the back of the rear wheels. Yet again, both sides, I still need to put a, a piece right there, but about to do the same thing. I've got to move up here to the front side. It's where all the spray foam was, so I'm going to try to make a piece to fit in there now just to you know pretty much get the water that's going to come from the wheels to not get in here uh i mean we're going to get water in here no matter what but you know if i can get these little areas at least where the wheels are going to be slinging water kind of just keep it a little drier all right we're back out here again officially about to start applying the bed wood so i'm about to start drilling holes and getting it set in i've got all my little patch panels seam sealed and everything's in place now so now i feel comfortable i can go ahead and get this bed wood set in place and where i want it to be and then move on to other things so let's get to it
it's secured in place it still needs more screws because i ran out of the long screws so i basically need the whole back half needs to be tightened up uh so i ordered some off amazon it'll be here thursday mostly because i wanted them to be black um that way it hides most of everything i still got a couple in here i had to use these ones i had here because this is bowed up real bad so i needed the extra length of these plus the drive to really secure them in place and pull it down a little bit but it is secured in place and i now have myself a little hatch to get my storage in and uh i don't know what i'm gonna do with this back piece yet I might leave it like that um, I might not I also might you know get like a lock so I might get a locking mechanism to kind of latch that there we'll see I'm not sure yet but uh bedwood is secure and uh, pretty soon I'm gonna be moving on to a couple of these other patches and other things I need to do I need to replace my windshield and rear window I need to get this cab corner don't know if you guys saw it but I welded this guy in it didn't go very well some of that metals rough but it's in place so I'll grind it down a little smoother and put some bondo over it and we're getting there um, I still need to work on the rear door pan the rear pan is bare metal so I need to sand it down and at least get it coated and I also need to put in lights I've got a set of lights to put on those uh, on the license plate but you know i gotta wire that in that's not hard it just takes time to do hey thanks everybody for tuning in to this week's episode we got the bedwood completed got a compartment built i still got to finish a couple things up but for the most part the back end is ready to go and we can get back to work on the sheet metal and the other little things that we need to do to get this truck ready for the hot rod power tour now like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. But in the meantime, peace. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping out